by way of analogy, if the tribulation period is coming and we see the shadows of it constantly, if it's coming this fast, then the rapture of the church, where, as you mentioned, we're not, uh, the doctrine doesn't teach we escape trouble. We have many troubles in this life, but we do escape one form of trouble, which right, is God's yeah. wrath. The seven sealed scroll and begins to peel, peel it open. Revelation 5, bringing forth God's judgments to the earth. We are spared from that. So I guess for people out there, given the fact that this event is approaching, um, it, it's only of this promise of escape from God's wrath in this life via the tribulation and in the life to come is only possible because Jesus, Yeshua, stepped out of eternity into time 2,000 years ago and absorbed the wrath of God the Father in our place. And his final words on the cross were, it is finished, finished. which is a uh, translation of the Greek word tetelestai, right. which means paid in full. I do believe all the signs are converging. I do believe all the promises of Jesus. John 14, uh, I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. That is very clearly a coming and a receiving and a going, um, and, and, and we're with Jesus. That is probably the most perfect scriptural promise and picture of why we have a blessed hope of the rapture. And Jesus says, when all these things begin, 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 when they begin to converge, look up, lift up your heads. And I love the idea of lifting up our heads. Lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. You're trusting in the good work Jesus did for you 2,000 years ago, rather than your own good works to make you right with God 